Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Lot Tail Up. We have Mark behind the camera. Todd, what are we doing? Okay, if you have some problems with your R58 where it doesn't heat, let's say the steam boiler, the brew boilers are not heating, and you're wondering why, I have a few things I can show you to help you figure it out relatively quickly. Okay. So we're going to take a look inside. And one thing to keep in mind here is that there's a lot of power in here, and you got to be careful. If you mm -hmm. don't think you should be in here, you probably shouldn't. Okay. Uh, so but you got to take the housing off, and I'm going to show you some basic parts, and then we'll show you how they work. Mm -hmm. Over here, we have static relays. These send the power to the heating elements. They send the power whenever these little green lights are on. Sometimes they'll flash, sometimes they'll be on solid. We have one there, and we have one there. The control voltage comes from down below, and that's from up in the board here, it sends down here. Mm -hmm. The power that feeds the static relays comes in on this brown wire here. One to this side, one to this side. And when this static relay is calling for heat, it sends power out this white wire over to the steam boiler. When this static relay is calling for heat, it sends power out of this black wire over towards the brew boiler. But what it does, it sends it up to the high limit, then, which is up here, then the power goes from the high limit down underneath to the heating element. Okay. And the same on the other side with the steam boiler. This white wire goes to the high limit, then it comes out of that down to the, down to the actual heating element. Okay. So we're gonna show you, if these lights, so if these lights go on, um, you know the static relays should be working. Mm -hmm. So let's say, let, let me check here. We'll get our voltmeter going, and we'll show how to, how to check those. First, you want to see if we have power going to the static relay. So take, we'll set it to volts, put your red lead on there, and then your um, black lead can go right to the copper. So we have 120 volts. Mm -hmm. That's good. We'll check the other side here. And again, we have 120 volts. So we know we have power coming in. Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is check power coming out. Put your red lead there and your black lead over here. Now it's flashing, so it's gonna jump around. Now maybe, so maybe what you can do is, if, you, if I'm gonna raise the lever here on this mm -hmm. side, we're gonna get the, so we got cold water coming in. Okay, see now it's on all the time? On all the time, so you'll have a steady. So you see now you have steady voltage. Uh -huh. So that's one way to check that. But you already probably know you, if your brew boiler's not heating, if that light's not on, then you have a serious control problem, mm -hmm. and that's not gonna be covered in this video. Okay. So the next thing we wanna check, let's say this light is on, and you have power coming out of here, like this, mm -hmm. but you don't have any heat. Next thing you wanna do is check the high limit. Now just to be clear, yes. power is only gonna come out when that light is on, right? Correct. So that's why we So power the comes in here, when yep. the light goes on, it sends power out of here okay. up to the high limit. Okay. So once we've determined that we do have power coming out of here, mm -hmm. we'll go up to the high limit, which is up here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, just to make sure. A little, that, little safer working in there. Yeah, don't get zapped. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pull one of these wires off the high limit. Okay. There's two going to the high limit there. Correct. Yep. Okay. And well, first thing actually you'll do is, there's a, see that red button in there? Yeah. That's like the very, yeah, first thing it checks. If that's, yeah, that's exactly. That's like a circuit breaker sort of deal? Mm -hmm. So if yep. that's popped out, you're It'd not be, gonna heat a boiler. That'll right? break the, the, the power going down to the heating element. Mm -hmm. So what we wanna do is, uh, yeah, can, well, yeah. it's gonna be moving around a lot, but check your meter, make sure it's working. So you've set it to ohms which, now, right? Which it's not, which is interesting. Set it to ohms. Touch your needles together. Okay. Make sure it, uh, like right now, it's showing no resistance. Mm -hmm. That's good. Always check your meter first, like that. Then I'm going to slide this in there where I can touch the metal on that yep. tab and then there. Now just check the meter. Again, showing no resistance. Now keep the camera there. When I pull it off, you'll see it shows infinite resistance. Okay. okay. So now we know that's fine. Okay, okay. good. Now we want to check the heating element mm -hmm. to see if the, the contacts or the element in there is broken and there's no power going through it. Mm -hmm. So here's a way to do that. These two wires here, one comes from the static relay like we talked about, right? and that goes up to the heating element, or to the uh, high limit. The other one comes off the high limit and goes down to the heating element. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one off of here, and I'm gonna use this wire with so my ohm meter to check to see if I have continuity through the heating element. So I'll put one wire in there, and I'll put the other one on the blue wire here, which is a common wire, because it should go to that. Mm -hmm. 
and reading 9.7 ohms. Can you see that from there? Yep. Okay, so I know that heating element's good. If you're not reading anything, mm -hmm. then your heating element is open. Okay, so just let's just take that one more time. So you've okay. got the wire that's going, that came off the static, off, or? Came off the high limit. Off the high limit. And the one that leads, does down it to the boiler. down to the boiler, because it's the opposite one, it's not the one that leads from the static relay, it's right. the other one. Okay. And then. And there. There, and then on the blue. On the blue common, okay. Great, right. and that'll check your heating element that way. Okay. Now, if you're tripping breakers for some reason, and you want to see if you have a short inside the heating element to ground, mm -hmm. you can do that here also. So what you do, is, let me get my, I gotta verify yep. which wire goes down to the heating element again. Yep. It's this one here. So you'll mm -hmm. take one wire in there, make sure you got a good connection. So that's a wire going to the heating element. Going to the heating element, right? And the other one, right to a ground, right to the copper. Mm -hmm. And I'm not reading anything. Mm -hmm. This shows my heating element should be good. Okay. So we should be good there. Um, now, I'll let you get a good look at the boiler on the other side, the steam boiler. Mm -hmm. This is easier to access. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, huh? Yeah, I sure do. So if you want to check your high, your high limit there, you can pull these two wires off mm -hmm. and just take your meter and put it right across. Okay. You're on ohms, right? Yep, yeah. showing almost no resistance. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to check your heating element, you can just go right across it without having to use any wires or anything. And that one, we've got uh, 11.4 ohms. So that heating element is good. Again, if you want to check to see if it's, if you're tripping breakers, put one wire on the copper, in this case brass, but, mm -hmm. and the other to the heating element. There should be no should be, continuity it, on either? Should be nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's, that's it. really all there is to it. It's not that complex. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, I would say let us let us know. We can help you out. If you're not comfortable around electricity, obviously, don't do it. We're, we can fix these. We do it all the time. We can help you out with that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Anything to add, Mark? I, th I think that's it. Okay. So, great. Very good. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.